Hi, and thanks for following the bite-sized beginner's guide to the HP Reverb G2. Today, we're gonna to continue the home environment tour, and I'm gonna show you how to use the web browser so you can have a comfortable web browsing experience and also use your computer remotely using the virtual desktop app within the HP Reverb G2. By the way, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the VR educational entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. If it's your first time to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. In the previous videos, we looked at how to set up the audio, the microphone, and fix the black screen issue if you can't see anything inside of your VR headset, as well as optimize all the settings so that you don't have any stutter or lagging issues of any kind when you launch your first VR experience with the HP Reverb G2. All right, so let's continue the tour. You see the Microsoft Edge panel there. Now just make sure that on your computer, your display is running inside of your VR headset and not on the computer. You can check this by pressing the Windows and Y key and making sure that you see the blue bar on your computer screen, which is telling you that the display is running on your VR headset. Now this is for several different reasons. First of all, it will enable you to watch anything on the browser within your VR headset itself. Otherwise, it will basically make all the pop-ups come up on the computer and you're not gonna see anything inside of your HP Reverb G2. So if you go inside of the Skyloft a little bit more, you will notice on the right-hand side, a VR360 panel there where you can watch some VR360 videos. Now, if you click on one of them and you can hear some sound, but you can't see any video, don't worry, you will need to download a plugin. So do make sure that you are part of the notification squad by hitting the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss the dedicated video as to how to install the plugin and also all the various different media software. And then if we look at the Microsoft Edge again, I just wanted to show you that basically what happens when you have the display running from your computer. If you click on it, you'll have all the boxes every time you click on it appearing on your computer screen and not inside of your VR headset. So do make sure that you have again clicked on the Windows and Y button telling you that the display is running inside of the VR headset so that you have a very comfortable browsing experience. Of course, you can type anything inside as well. Go to any website of any kind that you want. I mean, you can pretty much do anything that you could do on your computer inside of your VR headset here in the Skylog. Similarly to the 3D viewer, you can also, of course, grab it by pressing and holding the trigger and then also by pointing towards one of the corners you can make it as large as whatever you want to be or you can make it so that it's further away from you or closer to you by again extending or bringing your arm closer towards your body. Another reason why you want to make sure that the display is running inside of your actual VR headset and not the actual computer itself by holding the Windows and Y key is for the following. press on the Windows logo icon button on your controller to bring up the main navigation pop-up. Now on the right hand side you should see all apps. Click on that with your trigger. Now go and find an app called desktop and you can navigate through the different pages by clicking on the arrows up and down on the right hand side under all apps. Now after you click on this you'll see another pop-up will magically appear inside of your Skyloft. Now get rid of the pop-up by clicking again on the Windows logo icon button on the controller. Now this is effectively your virtual desktop. Now if your display was running on your computer you notice that I'm not able to click on anything whatsoever and nothing is really happening other than basically moving the actual panel itself. By enabling the display to run inside of the VR headset and not on the computer now what you'll notice is I'm able to control that panel the same way that I would be able to do it on the actual computer itself and it will basically be running anything that's running on your computer but you're doing it via your actual VR headset. This is very useful of course if you don't want to remove your VR headset and you want to run any files or videos directly from there instead of having to go back to your desktop. All right let's both meet in the next video where I'll continue to give you the guided tour of the second environment and of course share with you some really cool tips and tricks. Let's go!